Duke University School of Nursing's Office of Global and Community Health Initiatives recently welcomed 28 students representing Barbados, Japan, Korea, the Netherlands, the Philippines, and the United States for the inaugural two-week Exploring Patterns in Global Health and Illness course. Dr. Michael Ralph, Associate Dean for Global and Community Affairs and Course Director, told us a bit about the course and its objectives. So the School of Nursing's had the fortune of sending students abroad for over a decade. And except in rare circumstances, we really haven't um, welcomed our international students to kind of a short course like ours participate. And so through our strategic planning process, we developed um, one of the goals is to have bi-directional learning. And so this program was founded under the sense that not only do we take Doosan students out to see the world, but this is an opportunity for international students to come to Doosan, experience our community, but to engage in cross-cultural learning. The course is designed for international students to participate in a two-week cultural immersion experience to cultivate an enhanced understanding of nursing and public health in the United States, as well as explore facets of the American healthcare system and underlying social determinants of health in the community. Dr. Jenny DeGagney, assistant professor and course faculty, described the students' experience. We have this two-week intensive program and uh, it involves a lot of um, uh, activities, if you will. Uh, this is a very intensive three-credit academic course, so obviously we have a specific uh, objectives and goals. And um, they have some, for example, they have some journal writings and they uh, go to a community and uh, reflect on um, what they've seen. As part of the coursework, students took a health and equity tour of Durham to survey the social determinants of health. In addition to the academics of the program, students participated in cultural outings. These outings included visiting the Sarah P. Duke Gardens, the North Carolina Museum of History, the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences, attending a Durham Bulls game, and a Broadway musical at the Durham Performing Arts Center. Ultimately, students who participated in the program said it was about gaining knowledge that they could share with their peers and cohorts, whether they came from the Philippines, Barbados, or right here in Durham. I've been to a lot of cultural activities. I, I'm part of an international peace organization. And to learn more about how, in my specific field, which is healthcare, about the different cultures, is what pushed me and inspired me to participate in this program. I saw it as a way not just to benefit myself, but also the peers of mine that wouldn't be able to come in terms of taking information back and being that vehicle for bringing more current information back home. So that was my thing. I wanted to do um, the global trip that would have been between my second and third semester, but for family re reasons, excuse me, I decided not to. Um, and I was disappointed I was going to go to Barbados actually, but didn't. And um, I saw this opportunity and it was where everyone was coming to us. And so it's even more rich in a sense to get just more um, perspectives and learn about more global health issues besides just the issues facing that one community will face. Academic advancement and sharing that knowledge with others, as Dr. DeGagney reminded us, is what being a nurse leader is all about. And I see those students as our future nurse leaders and hopefully with this experience they go back to their country. Uh, they are the leader, student ambassadors for global education and global nursing so that this uh, initiative can grow and I mean forever. Mm -hmm. That's my dream mm -hmm. but um, I feel very rewarded to have this kind of opportunity together with the students. Mm -hmm.